What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and before I get into things like always greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Recently we hit 148,000 subscribers getting closer and closer to the 150k milestone so again like always, I appreciate the love. Hopefully very soon we hit that goal. Now as for the highlights in this video, we have release details on the Air Jordan 4 Black Canvas, as well as Jordan brand scrapping the Air Jordan 4 Olive Canvas. We also have updates on the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low Reverse Mocha and much more from Jordan brand. Also featured in this video is news from Nike, Adidas, and Reebok. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Packer Shoes and Reebok will release another colorway of the Answer 4. This pair comes in white and silver. Simply called White Silver, I believe a few months back I did showcase the shoes in a previous video. But now we do have release details, so they will debut exclusively at PackerShoes.com on April 22nd at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Following, an in-store release will take place at Packer Shop in Jersey City. The retail price is $180. The Yeezy Boost 700 V2 Vanta originally launched in June 2019, and for those that missed out, there's going to be another opportunity for you to purchase. So the pair comes dressed in mostly black while constructed with mesh and suede. Also it comes with a full length Boost midsole, and for those that want to grab them, they are expected to release in August, although it's possible that the release could get pushed, and the retail price will be $300. This pair is a little bit different compared to past Yeezy releases, and this is the Yeezy 700 V3 Fade Carbon. Typically, we see pairs with simple color blocking. However, this pair features a gradient upper and gradients from pink to blue. Also, that shade of pink bleeds onto the midsole around the heel. We also have a translucent cage overlay, black on the tongue, liner and laces, and then a gray toe cap. For this pair, we don't have a specific release date expected to debut later this year, and the retail price will be 210. For some reason, I skipped over this piece of news in the last video, and I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but the Yeezy Boost 350 Turtle Dove will be returning this year. Now, initially, the pair was expected to release this month. Now, at the time of recording this, it's April 19th, and although it's still possible, I think it might release a bit later. Other than that, the pair is expected to debut this spring. And here we have photos of the 2022 version. This, along with the Pirate Black pair, probably made the line what it is today. But that's just my opinion. So, spring 2022 and the retail price is rumored to be 230 We have a release date for two upcoming Air Force One mid-releases. The first one is L Brown, and the pair comes just in a white, total orange, L Brown in beach colorway. Constructed with white leather, metallic L Brown wraps the toe and heel. It also covers the ankle strap while beach hits the branding, finishing the look as a cell midsole and a rubber outsole. Next up, we have the return of the Air Force One mid Independence Day. The color blocking is similar, However, it's a different colorway. Coming just in white, varsity red, in Midnight Navy, this pair originally dropped in 1997, and of course, to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Air Force One, the pair is returning this month. So, both of these shoes are scheduled to release on April 28th, and the retail price is 140 each. At one point in time, Nike was flooding the market with the Terminator. I believe it was the mid 2000s, of course it was the retro version, but how they're doing the dunk right now is how they did the Terminator back then. Now they slowed down on the releases, however, the Nike Terminator High Georgetown will make a return. Originally releasing in 1985, and there's actually a Georgetown Hoyas PE that the team wore. This pair isn't expected to have the branding, and the retro release will come dressed in a granite 
dark obsidian and cell colorway. So what you're looking at is the original pair. The retro is expected to look like this. And unfortunately, we don't have a release date, but the retail price will be 120. For years, a lot of people wanted the Nike Airship to return, and finally that happened in 2020. This is the actual shoe that Michael Jordan was banned for wearing, and not the Air Jordan 1. Now for 2022, the model will return once again in at least two colorways. Now I've been seeing going around, a lot of other colorways are releasing as well, a total between eight and 10, but I don't have confirmation on those other colorways just yet, so I don't want to include them. Now, two of the colorways that I do know about, one comes in Game Royal and the other comes in Team Orange. Now, what you're looking at is just the Photoshop, what releases could look different. And the first pair comes just in white and Game Royal. The second feature is white and Team Orange. So from the color description, it appears that the color blocking will be simple. I expect something like this, although I haven't seen them, so I can't 100% guarantee it. It seems that a lot of people are happy that the shoe is releasing once again. Hopefully all these other colorways that I've been seeing going around, the mock-ups that are going around that is, hopefully they drop as well. I think I saw a green pair. They're all super clean. And for the Game Royal pair, they are expected to release this fall. And the Team Orange pair is expected to release during holiday 2022. Also, the retail price will be 150 each. I believe it was in early 2021, rumors came out that Hello Kitty and Nike would release the Air Presto. Now for OG heads, this is a big deal. Back in 2004, Nike created multiple colorways of the Hello Kitty Nike Air Presto. A portion was made available to friends and family. Rumor has it that they were expected to have 500 pairs of four different colorways, but only 12 pairs of each colorway were given out to friends and family. Now for the 2022 pair, what you're looking at is a mock-up. However, it's an accurate one of what's releasing. I was able to see the shoes. So it's going to be a new colorway, not the OGs. And it comes just in a university blue, black, white, and light crimson colorway. Now, as you can see, Hello Kitty is covered across the upper. We also have Hello Kitty written across the toe. And probably the coolest part about this shoe is the insoles. It has Hello Kitty, some daisies, and a rainbow. Now, for the release details, I was told that this pair is scheduled to release on May 2nd. However, it's possible that the release date could get pushed, and the retail price is 140 I know a lot of people are waiting on the release of the Rui Hachimura Air Jordan 8, and unfortunately, we're gonna have to continue to wait. Sadly, there isn't a release date for that pair just yet. However, expanding on the collection, Rui is also going to release his very own Air Jordan 36. So the pair features a similar color blocking as the Air Jordan 8, while it comes with cracked detailing on the vamp collar and midsole. Rui's logo is displayed throughout, Japanese characters land on the inside of the tongue, and then we have a graphic on the translucent outsole, and each pair comes housed with special packaging. Same situation as the Air Jordan 8, we don't have a release date for the Air Jordan 36 just yet, but like always, once more information is available, I'll make sure to let you guys know. The retail price is 185 in the last video, I believe I was calling this pair the Air Jordan 1 Low Homage. Anyways, the pair has a new nickname, it's being called Invert, and also dropping is the Air Jordan 1 Mid. So the pair also comes just in a black and white colorway. We have tumbled leather throughout, white lands on the base, and then we have black on the overlays on the lateral side. The opposite blocking is used on the medial side. We also have a split nylon tongue, white on the midsole, and a black rubber outsole. Unfortunately, no release date for this pair just yet. Before, we didn't get release dates for the Air Jordan 1 Mid or the Low. However, due to the popularity of those two models, we're starting to see release dates for them. So don't be surprised if a release date pops up soon. Official images popped up of a few models. One of those is the Air Jordan 11 Low Pure Violet. Now, I'm not going to speak too long on the shoe just because I've gone over it quite a few times, but more importantly, I wanted to showcase the images. The pair is scheduled to release on April 28th. They will be available in women's sizing for 190. 
Another pair we received official images of is the Air Jordan 13 Navy, also being called Brave Blue. Another pair I've gone over quite a bit, so I'm not going to go in too much detail. However, what I will say is that I am going to team up with official to do a draw on the pair where people can purchase at retail. That will start this Sunday, I believe, and you'll have to follow us on Instagram in order to enter. Now, as for the release date, this pair is scheduled to drop on April 29th for 200. The Jordan brand classic, which is a basketball tournament, has been canceled the last two years. In 2022, the event started back up, which took place on Friday, April 15th at Chicago's Hope Academy. Now, typically we see a pair of shoes that are made exclusively for individuals who take part in the tournament or friends and family of the tournament. And it's been a few years since we saw that, but the pair you're looking at is the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Jordan brand classic. Now, before anybody gets too excited, this pair is not expected to release, but to go over the pair, they feature premium nubuck on the toe box and swoosh logos, while sparkling iridescent covers the overlays and it gives it a glitter look. Nike Air branding lands on the tongue, Jordan brand classic is written across the insoles, and then we have a white midsole and a black rubber outsole. Definitely a clean pair. If anything does change and Jordan brand does decide to release them, I'll make sure to update you guys, but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. This shoe is definitely something different. Originally, this pair was being called the Air Jordan 1 High OG SP Utility. However, it's the Air Jordan 1 High OG Stash. Now, a couple days ago, official images popped up, and that gives us new looks, of course, but it also shows off some different elements that the shoe has that we didn't know before. Now, we know that the pair features stashed pockets on the sides. However, what wasn't known is that it comes with a detachable fanny pack on the heel. I guess if you plan on going outdoors, hiking, stuff like that, and you don't really mind getting your shoes messed up, this might be a pair that you would be interested in. For me, definite pass but if you like them don't let me persuade you any other way and the current release date is may 3rd and the retail price is 175 let me know your thoughts on this pair down below this pair is definitely going to be a problem and it has multiple nicknames i saw people asking on twitter what's the official nickname most of the time nicknames are given by people who get to see them first if the colorway makes sense for example this pair was nicknamed Neapolitan, or it comes from a shade used. So on the sneakers app, they have the shoes listed as Dark Mocha. However, a lot of you guys might remember the Air Jordan 3 Mocha, which when they retroed in 2008, Jordan Brand called them Dark Mocha. So pretty much you can call them whatever you want. I've been calling them Atmosphere for the shade of pink used. I've also called them Neapolitan, and I believe I've called them Dark Mocha at one point. Doesn't really matter, it's the same shoe. And I just wanted to show off the official photos. These are definitely looking very nice. Unfortunately, they're not releasing in extended sizing. They're currently scheduled to release on May 14th for 200. We have new photos of the Air Jordan 1 High OG Visionaire. Originally being called Volt due to the color, what I really like about the shoe and what Jordan Brand's actually doing on a few other colorways is the crack leather. So if you look on the collar where it's black, that features crack leather. Definitely a nice look. Other than that, the shoe is very loud. I'm sure it's not for everybody. We have leather on the overlays covered in vault. Black hits the swoosh, laces, and the rubber outsole. Currently, the pair is expected to release on June 11th for 170. We got some new images of the Air Jordan 2 Mason Chateau Rouge. I believe I pronounced that correctly. If I got it wrong, I do apologize. Now, with the new images, what's probably more important to many who want to grab this pair is the release date. So we do have one. It's very possible that the date could get pushed. A lot of stuff, as you guys already know, has been moved around quite a bit. And currently, this pair is scheduled to release on June 24th. Now, at the time of shooting, we don't know of a retail price. This is definitely different. I like what Jordan Brand is doing with the Air Jordan 2, allowing individuals to collaborate. It's definitely a nice way for them to market the pair because due to collaborations, a lot of people are going to want them and then eventually they're going to start releasing GRs. Yeah, it's going to suck for the people who are really fans of the Air Jordan 2 because let's be real, prior to 2022, a lot of people 
did not like this model. But that's all going to change. And let me know your thoughts down below. We have new images of the Air Jordan 6 Georgetown. Now it seems like a lot of people are excited for this pair. And to briefly go over them, they won't feature any Georgetown branding. However, the color blocking mimics the school's colors. Utilizing suede across the upper, covered in gray, we have College Navy accents and a translucent outsole. So at the time of shooting this video, they are scheduled to release on September 3rd for 200. Quick update on the Nina Chanel Abney Air Jordan 2 collaboration. In the last video, I went over the first look, but I wanted to provide a little bit more information. So a lot of people were asking me if they were going to release an extended women's sizing, because for those that don't know, this is a women's release. And yes, they're going to be available in extended women's sizing. So more individuals will be able to purchase them. But other than that, all the information stays the same. July 8th is the current release date and no retail price as of yet. Nina Chanel Abney is not just releasing the Air Jordan 2, but she's also dropping her very own Air Jordan 2 Low. So the pair features a very similar theme compared to the mid, but for this pair, instead of using red, it has green. So to go over the shoes, they feature gray suede on the toe cap, along with minimal perforations, green on the heel counter that lacks any contours or grooves, and then we have a mixture of white, smooth, and reptile textured leather. Giving the pair a vintage look, we have cell on the midsole. Just like the mid or high, whatever you want to call them, the low will also come with a hang tag that's shaped like a picture frame. When I first saw the image, I knew it looked familiar, but I couldn't pinpoint where I saw it from or I couldn't even locate it. However, thanks to a certain individual who DM'd me and he shared the photo, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the screen. Now, I don't know the specific date of when this photo was taken. However, it's probably between 86 and 87. But if you know the exact date of when this photo was taken, please let me know down below. Now, just like the other pair, the Air Jordan 2 Low by Nina Chanel Abney is expected to release in July. Yes, this pair is a women's release and I can't 100% confirm if they will be available in extended women's sizing. I know her other pair is and more than likely this pair will be as well, but I don't wanna say for sure until I get confirmation. Also, no retail price as of yet. Just leaked is a first look at the Air Jordan 1 Low OG UNC. Now this isn't the OG UNC, it's a new look. And as you can see, the pair resembles that of the original mock-up. So although they're being called UNC, they're also being called Dark Powder Blue. So whatever nickname you prefer, and they come dressed in a white, dark powder blue and black colorway. Constructed with leather, we have white on the base, the toe box and midsole, while black lands on the eye stay, laces, tongue, wraps the toe, liner and hits the swoosh. Giving it the UNC vibe, we have dark powder blue on the tongue branding, heel and the rubber outsole. Currently, this pair is scheduled to release on July 29th for 130. I've been seeing a lot of images going around on the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low Reverse Mocha. I'm sure everyone else has. And recently, some new photos popped up. But what I thought many would find a bit more interesting is the rumored release time frame. Again, this is just a rumor, what I'm seeing and what's going around. It's not 100% confirmed as of yet, but the pair is, once again, rumored to release between July and August 2022. So it could drop in July or August. And currently we don't have a retail price. Now I know a lot of his releases were pushed due to the unfortunate incident that happened at Astro World. To be honest, I haven't followed up on what's been going on. I know there was a lot of lawsuits and stuff like that, but I'm sure that Jordan Brand is sitting on a lot of these pairs as well as other collaborations he has. And I'm sure they eventually want to let them out to the public, make their money. You know, what I noticed was when the incident happened and I shared images of one of his upcoming collabs, I'm not sure which one, a lot of people were trash talking Travis. Of course, it was on Twitter. A lot of people were upset and I understand why. And then when I shared these new photos the other day, I believe only one person made mention of the events that took place and being too soon. I haven't really seen anybody talking about it, so I just wanted to get your guys' input on it. But I guess my question is to you guys. Do you think Jordan Brand should still release them at all? 
And if so, when would be the correct time frame? How do you guys feel Jordan Brand should go about it? Because for me, I'm a bit torn on everything. To be honest, like I mentioned, I haven't been following up on the updates. So I just wanted to get your thoughts down below. And like always, I will be reading the comments. This photo right here has the internet going crazy today. A lot of news outlets are reporting that this is the Air Jordan 1 High Chicago Reimagined. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. Now, this pair is actually a fake, and what's releasing will actually look closer to the mock-up that Z Sneakerhead Z and I did a few months back. It was included in one of the previous videos. I'm going to include it here once again. Also, what's releasing is the Air Jordan 1 High OG. What you're looking at, although a fake UA, whatever you want to call it, is the 85 high. Now, I believe this came from another YouTuber that goes by Snide. He openly reviews UAs. And from what I've seen on his video that he uploaded on this shoe, I don't think he meant to dupe anybody. I don't know how this image landed on so many IG pages, Twitter accounts, even YouTube videos I'm seeing people talking about the shoe. But this isn't it, and if it was, honestly, I wouldn't be mad at it, other than the liner. Again, like I originally mentioned, the pair will be closer to the Hype Royal Air Jordan 1 that dropped last year. It'll feature a vintage look, distressed materials, as well as the shade muslin used, which will give it a vintage vibe. So for the release details, currently the pair is scheduled to release on October 29th for 180. I know there was a lot of people waiting for the Olive Canvas Air Jordan 4 to release. However, that is not going to happen. I'm not sure why this is, but Jordan Brand has decided to scrap that shoe and go with the Air Jordan 4 Black Canvas. Now, the image you're looking at is a Photoshop. However, I did see the shoe, and this is an accurate one of what's releasing. So, big shout out to Z Sneakerhead Z for putting the Photoshop together, of course. And right off the bat, I'm sure a lot of people can see the resemblance between this pair and the Eminem Carhartt Air Jordan 4 collab. Which is kind of funny because the Olive Canvas pair somewhat resembled that of the Undefeated collab. But I feel like this pair is closer to the Eminem collab than the Olive pair was to the Undefeated, if that makes sense. Anyways, the pair comes dressed in a black light steel gray, white, and fire red colorway. So we got black canvas across the upper, gray hits the branding, eyelets, and part of the midsole. Other details includes red accents and white wrapping the other half of the midsole. So at the time of shooting this, the release date is scheduled for August 27th, and the retail price will be 210. I was honestly looking forward to the olive canvas pair to release this pair is really nice also. It seems that a lot of people are happy with them, but like always, let me know your thoughts down below. And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, I appreciate you guys for watching. And if you got a second, hit this video with a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. I know I mentioned this in the previous video, but I'm putting together a new series on the channel. I can't leak too much of it yet. If you missed the last video, just to state it once again, it's going to be a more of an investigative style video. Hopefully this opens the channel up for more investigative videos, but it all depends on how it's received. If you guys like it, then of course it's going to continue. But if not, I might do one to two more. But the first one, I definitely want to do it. And that's just for me, but I also feel like a lot of people will enjoy it. Either way, I should be getting the trailer put together pretty soon. And I will drop that in a news video. But again, let me know what you liked or disliked in this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.